Mungapo, greetings. This is Tasha She, and I'm about to do a video on the Nanzantiko and tell you how a whole tribe was enslaved and killed for the crimes of only a few. And really, was it a crime or was it self defense? Or was the whole thing a conspiracy to uproot the indigenous people from their land? Stay tuned and find out about the Nanzantiko and how the indigenous people of America are connected to them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing. Please subscribe now. It's free. And please click the notification button to join the notification squad. I'm going to be dropping a lot of knowledge on lesser known information about the indigenous people of America and the world. But for right now, stay tuned on the history of the Nansantico. The original Nanzatiko went by the name of Nau Town Takond and lived on the northern side of the Rappahannock River. Nanzantiko were a melting pot group of refugees of the Powhatan Nation, which included the Portobagos from Southern Maryland, some Rappahannock, Machatiques, and Potomomics from the surrounding Virginia area. In April of 1704, the Nanzantico complained that the English were encroaching on their land and went to the Virginia colony's government with their grievances, but the House of Burgesses never addressed the issue. In August of that same year, a war party of 10 Nanzantico warriors killed an invading Englishman named John Riley. A lynch mob rounded up 49 Nanzantico Indians to stand trial for the murder. Five warriors who were alleged to have taken part in the murder were lynched. Under a 1665 law created to protect colonizers from being murdered, they found the whole tribe guilty and all other members of the tribe were rounded up and sent to the West Indies, specifically Antigua, as slaves. This law passed by the Virginia House of Burgesses held whole indigenous communities responsible for the murder of an Englishman. Tribal members under the age of 12 were given to officials of the Virginia colony as personal slaves. These laws and tactics made it possible for the colonizers to erase indigenous people from their respective lands and reclassify them within the slave system. It also provided free labor for the emerging European settlements, giving them the ability to survive the harsh woodlands with the aid of their indigenous captives. So with the Nanzantico, we know that the Europeans took over their towns and villages and created plantations. Now one of those plantations was Bell Grove Plantation, which is located in King George County, Virginia. Um, this plantation has been there for years. The original name of Bell Grove is Nanzantico Plantation. And as you can see from the pictures, it's a nice, beautiful plantation, modern um, colonial style structure. Um, but this is this site used to be the one of the Nanzantico towns, and uh, when they were enslaved and um, the few guilty, I guess, Indians were hung, the officials from the Virginia colony were given that land, and this official he made the Nanzantico plantation, which had indigenous slaves from the tribe, the children working on there, as well as slaves from other places. Okay, so this is located in Virginia. It's in King George County. And, I, I, you know, I guess it got new ownership, so they changed it from Nanzantico Plantation to Bell Grove Plantation. And this plantation, they do, you know, they have beautiful events there. Um, you know, it's a nice place but a lot of people don't know the history of it and the fact that it was uh, an Antico town. And I'm pretty sure there might be some type of artifacts or uh, burials close to that area. And it's located right off the river. Um, I believe it's the Rappahannock River that's right there in the background um, of the plantation. So within Virginia, Maryland, and many other places on the East Coast and the South, there's a whole bunch of plantations with this similar history to them. So on this channel, I'm going to get in more into um, the specific plantations and the history 
the individual history of them and how it relates to all indigenous people in America that who were enslaved or who were uh, sent into indigenous servitude or free people of color. Their identity was changed to free people of color, okay?